back to our timeline, we have made it all the way through the Paleozoic events, right? We've gone through the creation of the Appalachian Mountains on our East Coast, the creation of the Cordilleran Mountains on our West Coast, the creation of um, limestone in the center of our continent, the creation of coal beds and cyclothems within our continent. Now we're moving all the way to the end of the Paleozoic um, and figuring out what deposits were formed then. So mineral wealth and late Paleozoic rocks. Although a great variety of mineral deposits formed during the late Paleozoic, the most significant ones are the fossil fuels. So the coal, the oil, and the natural gas. Um, numerous Pennsylvanian coal seams. And when I say Pennsylvanian here, I don't mean the state Pennsylvanian, I mean the time period, the geologic time period Pennsylvanian, right? Um, they reflect these luxuriant growths of tropical species, these mangrove forests, right? When you have these dense swampy forests where vegetation dies and becomes um, preserved and degrades down into peat, that's when you eventually get coal. So plants that grew in these poorly drained, warm, swampy areas were frequently inundated, died, and that dead organic material was broken down by bacteria into a peat-like sludge with a really high carbon content. And eventually this high carbon sludge peat was then compressed and slowly converted into coal. So when we talk about US coal country, that coal that we're talking about was formed during the late Paleozoic, right? The fuel that you use to drive your car around, um, the fuel that you use to turn on your lights in your house, the fuel that you use to boil your water and cook your food, there's a good chance that it came from um, coal, oil, and natural gas deposits that were deposited during the late Paleozoic in what is now North America. Okay. Now, that was happening in coal country. We also have a lot of oil and gas being found in um, late Paleozoic strata that was formed rather than on land, formed in the ocean. Remember, um, for a lot of the Paleozoic, much of North America was a shallow epicontinental sea. It was an ocean. And when you have an ocean and a lot of uh, ocean creatures, ocean plankton dying, settling to the ocean floor, their bodies can eventually turn into oil and natural gas. This is what was happening in, um, in what we now call Texas. So again, if you drove your car, if you turned on your lights, if you cooked yourself some food, if you use anything that needed energy to function, um, you're probably getting your energy from the late Paleozoic rocks or there's a good chance you're getting your energy from late Paleozoic rocks. 